Convey. I'm a sole biologist with this bass slice expedition to the South Sandwich Islands. My purpose in being here is twofold. One is basically to describe the terrestrial botany and zoology of the islands, which is very virtually unknown. And the second is to make a specific study of the plants and animals that are associated with these areas of warm ground, such as this one that we're sitting on. The heat is produced geothermally, it's volcanic heat. Um, you can see the steam rising. In some cases around here, the steam's being emitted from very specific small vents. In the ground behind me, it's being emitted over a much wider area. So if you look across this strip, the bare or partly bare strip in the middle is all steaming, is all heated ground. Uh, the surface temperature of this ground is between 30 and 40 degrees C. These little tufts of moss you see growing on it are growing at 30 plus degrees centigrade. And if inserting a probe through them, by the time you get five centimeters below them into the ash, the temperature is up between 60 and 75 degrees centigrade. This is a line effectively of a vent. Um, as we move out to the side, you move away from the vent and the ground cools down. But still, this liverwort, which is predominant in this area, is at a temperature of between 20 and 35 degrees C, and the ground underneath it is still between 30 and 50 degrees C. What's particularly interesting is that different plant species can tolerate different temperature conditions. So in the middle, we have a strip of a, a moss, which is probably a Campylopus species, which can tolerate the very high temperatures near the vent. As we move away, a liverwort species comes in, probably a Cryptochyla, um, as we move yet further away, other moss species come in to cover the cooler ground. I've never seen an area of volcanic activity <laughs> before, so that itself is exciting. I've known about these communities from the literature for a long time. Very little work has been done on them, and the chance to come here, this is the first chance we've had to come here in 30 years, and chances are I'll never get the chance to come to an area like this again. So it's a chance of a lifetime, effectively. <laughs>